So let's trace the first terminal branch of the posterior cord, and that is this one here, which I have lifted up. This is the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve goes laterally. It goes through the quadrangular space, and we can see that it is accompanied by these, neurovas these vascular structures here. This is the posterior circumflex humeral artery and the posterior circumflex humeral vein coming from the axillary artery. So this axillary nerve, it winds around the surgical neck of the humerus, it goes through the quadrangular space. So what is the boundary of the quadrangular space? Superiorly, it is bounded by the teres minor, the head of the humerus, and it's bounded by the subscapularis. Inferiorly, it is bounded by the teres major. Laterally, it is bounded by the surgical neck of humerus, and medially, it is bounded by the long head of the triceps. So this quadrangular space is the one which gives passage to this axillary nerve, the posterior circumflex humeral artery, and the posterior circumflex humeral vein, and we can see that here. Here, the axillary nerve can be injured in two different ways. If there's a fracture of the surgical neck of humerus, then axillary nerve can be injured, and if there is an inferior dislocation of the shoulder joint, then also the axillary nerve can be injured. This is an x-ray of the shoulder, right shoulder, to show fracture of the surgical neck of humerus in a patient. Injury to the axillary nerve will produce the maximum disability in terms of paralysis of the deltoid muscle. The deltoid is supplied from the inner aspect by the axillary nerve here. We can see that here. And that will lead to inability to extend the shoulder joint. It will also lead to paralysis of the teres minor, but that is not of much clinical significance. And additionally, there will be a loss of sensation in the upper lateral aspect of the arm because the axillary nerve also supplies the arm. So that is about the axillary nerve, which is arising from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus, the first terminal branch, and we can see that here.